why should Pat McElvain be any different? We were asking about his favorite player, like what type of t-shirt he wanted to wear to the uh, to the game, and uh, he wrote Mark Andre Fleury down on the on the paper and pen pads. We got him a, a shirt, and he's sporting it today here, and so it's pretty neat to see. Yes, an opportunity to see the Penguins has been good therapy for Pat, who in 2010 was shot in the head while serving his country in Afghanistan. Feeds on, uh, we all you know talk about it. And, you know, he not in his head. Yes, like likes to come, likes to be here. The Uniontown native moved to Raleigh, North Carolina a little over a year ago, where his rehab has taken some big steps. One of the things that uh, picked up this past year was uh, getting to use the walker just to go to his room, to the table, to go to the other room, uh, instead of letting him sit in the wheelchair and only get out of the chair for therapy. So that was a big uh, step. Yeah. That was awesome! Walking has led to more, like passing the puck and even taking the ice. He's been going almost every other week to go do that. Uh, and that just, I mean, he just, you know, he's always uh, excited to go do that. Today's visit to the Penguins morning skate is his third, and his effort to look and feel good may continue long after he leaves. The first trip was, uh, I mean, I think he spoke for about three days after that. And the second trip, uh, maybe about the same, maybe a little less. Uh, so we're hoping that picks up. Just being around the game, being around the players that uh, he admired uh, before he had uh, joined the Army, um, I think it just, uh, I think it's something familiar that just really brings a lot of joy to him. Way to go, Pat. Way to go. Well, Jordan Stall and the Penguins 